At number 5, Poco X6 5G. This is Pavco X6 5G budget phone. Smartphone has 6.67 inches, a AMOLED display with 120Hz refresh rate. Very minimal bezels and 90% screen to body ratio. Segment first 68 billion colors display with a support of Dolby Vision. The display quality is really outstanding. Because of 1.5K resolution and 446 PPOI density. Very fast in display fingerprint sensor. 1800 nits of peak brightness provide clear view in sunlight condition. Phone has plastic back and weight is only 181 gram. IP54 certified, which protects smartphone from dust and splashes. The phone comes with 7's Gen 2 processor. Very smooth gaming experience but unfortunately Antutu is not much high, which is about 6 lakh but Geekbench is outstanding. The phone HA 64 megapixel main camera, 8 megapixel ultra wide and 2 megapixel macro lens. These are some photography sample of Poco X6. You can see the images which are very clear and colors are very crispy. Photos in daylight condition are amazing. You can record Max 4K video with its main camera. Check OIS on left side video sample. The video is really stable because of OIS support. On front phone has 16 megapixel selfie shooter. It runs MIUI 14 based on Android 13 and upgradable to HyperOS based on Android 14. Pack with 8 and 12 gigabits of RAM with UFS 2.2 storage type. Phone is powered by 5100 mA battery and 67 watt fast charger. At number 4, Realme 12 Pro Plus. This is Realme 12 Pro Plus 5G. Smartphone has 6.7 inches AMOLED display with 120Hz refresh rate and 240Hz touch sampling rate. It also support 2000Hz instant touch for gaming. It has 1 billion HDR display with 394 PPI and 1080 resolution display. For security needs it has in display fingerprint sensor and with Ashi Dragoon Trail Star 2 glass protection. It has 950 nits peak brightness which provide clear display under sunlight condition. Very beautiful golden fluted bezel. 3D jubbly bracket and vegan leather on back. The weight is 196 gram which feel heavy. IP65 rating protect device from dust and splashes. This phone has 7's Gen 2 processor and the Antutu score is good, which about 6 lakh plus, and Geekbench is also good. Very smooth gaming experience on extreme graphics. Smartphones comes with triple camera setup. First one is 50 megapixel primary camera, 8 megapixel ultra wide and 64 megapixel telephoto camera with 3x optical zoom. This is main camera sample. The camera quality is good in daylight condition. Colors are very sharp and punchy. According to price range Realme delivers good quality camera. Realme 12 Pro Plus allows you to zoom up to 120x. These are some zooming sample you can see. You can also capture good quality photos in at night or low light condition. You can record max 4K at 30 frame per second video. Colors look good in normal quality video. You can consider this phone for videography purpose. Phone has 32 megapixel selfie shooter. This phone runs Realme UI 5.0, which is based on Android 14 and packed with 8 and 12 gigabyte of RAM. Company will provide you 2 years major and 3 years security update. Phone is powered by 5000 mA battery and 67 watt fast charger. At number 3, O13 Pro 5G. Smartphone has 6.67 inches, a AMOLED display with 120Hz refresh rate. Protected with Gorilla Glass Victus on front and IP54 as well. Segment first 68 billion colors display with a support of Dolby Vision. 1.5K panel and 446 pixel density is really outstanding combination. 1800 nits of peak brightness provide clear view in sunlight condition. Phone has under display fingerprint sensor which is very quick and responsive. Back panel of the phone built with frosted glass and weight is 187 gram. Very slim 8 mm thickness. Phone packed with Snapdragon 7's Gen 2 processor with Adreno 710 GPU. And Tutu is not much high as I was expecting over 7 lakh but it has 5 lakh plus. But the Geekbench performance is much better. Phone has 200 megapixel main camera with OIS support. 8 megapixel ultra wide and 2 megapixel macro lens. The main camera captured good quality pohats. Colors are really crispy and deep. These are some samples captured with Note 13 Pro. Camera enable you to zoom up to 4x, which is really good. You can record max 4K video with it main camera.
video quality is good and not much shuttered. It has 16 megapixel selfie shooter. It runs MIUI 14 which is based on Android 13 with UFS 2.2 storage type. Phone is powered by 5100 mAh battery and 67 watt charger. At number 2, Redmi Note 12 Turbo. At number 1, POCO F5 5G. The smartphone has 6.67 inches AMOLED display. The phone has 68 billion color and 12-bit outstanding display with 395 pixel density. It supports 120Hz refresh rate and 240Hz touch sampling. 1000 nits peak brightness is enough. No problem if using in sunlight condition. Also support HDR10 Plus and Dolby Vision as well. Plastic back and 181 gram weight is not feel heavy. Side mounted fingerprint is really quick. IP53 rating protect from splashes and dust particles. 3.5mm jack also available for headphone users. Phone has 7 Plus Gen 2 processor and Tutu is really outstanding in this segment, which is 9 lakh plus. Very smooth gaming and Geekbench is also excellent. Phone has 64 megapixel triple camera, 8 megapixel ultra wide and 2 megapixel macro lens. The camera quality is good if you think about photography. Night photo samples are not much excellent. These are some samples of night shots. On video side, you can record max 4K at 30 frame per second. The video is good not much excellent, especially when you go to night mode. Phone has 16 megapixel selfie camera. It runs Android 13 upgradable to Hyper OS based on Android 14. Phone has 8 and 12 GB of RAM and 256 GB storage capacity, with UFS 3.1 storage type, 5000 mAh battery and 67 watt charger. 